What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here for another dollar deck build. So uh, this month it is $100 budget. I'm sure as you've seen from the title or the thumbnail, I guess, uh, you know what we're going to be building. I am going to be trying to do Stealth Kragen, so the new control deck that's come out in Brothers of Legend. Uh, essentially just uh, make everything water, rather your opponent, or goes in your opponent, sorry. And then uh, they can't play, which is uh, the best way to go in Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently. Uh, yeah, but before we do get started, uh, please do remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button. A uh, big thank you to everyone who has hit that subscribe button over the past year. Uh, we hit 5,000 subscribers today, so uh, yeah, big thank you to everyone. I'm sorry if I popped the mic before, I'm fairly sure I saw it hit red, but uh, yeah, let's get into this dollar deck build. So, we are definitely going to be building Stealth Kragen, so let's go uh, Stealth Kragen. Hopefully there's the money for Stealth Kragen, $100 is uh, not for- oh yeah, I should probably get up a calculator, shouldn't I? Uh, calculator, 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 calculator. Where are we? Okay, calculator time. So it's Stealth Kragen. We don't want to ship to Australia, it's fine. This is a, a USA thing. Okay. So over here in Brothers of Legend, I know we're going to need the pre-rice map. I don't know how many pre-rice map we're going to need, though. Uh, so Stealth Kragen at $1.21. Let's add that into the deck. Uh, money. Well, I guess our go-to card. So we have three copies of Stealth Kragen. Uh, we're going to need three copies of Stealth Kragen spawn as well, otherwise the deck doesn't work properly. But starting us off, we've gone for those three Stealth Kragen. That's going to cost us uh, $3.63. And that will be our starting point. Okay, let's get looking. We are going to need these pre-rice maps. Uh, but do we need one or three pre-rice map? What's, what's the correct ratio? I'm not sure. We'll come back to it. I know we also need the other spell out of this set, but... Uh, Stealth Kragen spawn at 76 cents. We're going to need three of those. So that's what? Uh, $1.20. No, $1.00. $2.10 $2 plus 18 cents. So that's $2.28. So plus 2.28. Okay, now we need right, left and right hand shark. I think left hand shark is the good one. Is it right hand shark? Or are we just playing three of each? Uh, when this guy's normal summon, you can. Add one left hand shark. Wait, why is left hand shark the cheap one? Um, this cards. Do, 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 do. Mutual right hand shark. This guy's new. Oh no, it is right. Right hand shark is the good one. Okay, I went on a bit of a tangent there. Uh, well, yeah, fairly sure right hand shark is the one that we need for the deck. Uh, we also need this silent sea nettle. Um, because this is just free extender, so it's, if you control a water monster, special summon this card from your hand. You can't special summon except water monsters, but that is fine. So we're going to go for three of that free extender. We can mess around with our ratios later, but at the moment we are just going to go for as budget as possible, and that means playing multiples of the cards that add us consistency. So we're going to get this sea nettle. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's got three of that. At 32 cents, so that's plus 0.96. Okay, now where is the rest of the stuff that we need here? Where are those right? So I'm fairly sure it's right hand shark is the card that we need. Um, so this card is normal summon, you add one left hand shark, give this card a new graveyard. So your right hand add left hand is the play. I thought one summon from deck. But no, it must be add then summon. Because left hand is if you control right. This card is your hand of graveyard. Yeah, special summon this card. Yeah, then you summon into the earth of water exes. Okay, we're making sense. We're making sense. They are both a 3 3 ratio, I guess, in that case. You can probably get away with one left hand shark and the three right hand shark, given that the uh, left hand shark can summon back from graveyard. Uh, we actually might start off with that ratio just to see how that's going to play out. Uh, we're going to start off with this, though. So we need the three right hand shark at. What's that? Uh, is that 69 cents? Nice. Um, 0.69. Plus one left-hand shark at 0.19. Okay, let's make sure we add those into the deck. So we go for hand shark. Okay, we want three right-hand and a left. Perfecto. I really can't wait to mess around with this deck, this format, because it's going to be great. So next up, we have white mirror. Target one level four, little fish monster your graveyard, special summon it, then you can add one monster for your deck to the hand with the same original uh, same original name as that special summon monster. 
can only activate one white mirror once per turn. I think, is white mirror the three of? And then we play one pre-rest. So pre-rest is add a monster with zero, halve your life points. This would add you to Tuniful Princess. Um, after adding to your hand, until the end of the next turn, after this card is activated, you cannot add... To your normal summon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, the, the use this to add Butuniful Princess. I think do we we'll play the three pre rest map, surely. Um Yeah, we'll we'll put it in three pre rest map for now. We can cut it down later. Uh but that's it. Three dollars eighty two. Is that nine? Uh ten fifty plus another sixty six cents. So that's eleven sixteen. Point sixteen. That's chewing up a lot of our budget there on that pre-rest map. Um, pre-rest map. Three of that. Realistically, I can probably, uh, given that we're on the budget end of things, we can probably look at playing the three white mirror. But we'll just go one for now at twenty-one cents. So we get plus point two one. Add that in. So one white mirror. Okay, is that it that we need out of Brothers of Legend? Is there anything else in here that's essential to this deck? No, I don't think so. Let's go for the next card that we're going to need. It's Goes and Match. Uh, Goes and Match is very much required for us to be able to lock our opponent out. Uh, and now at... This is out of stock for Australia, but it's fine. Um, So we'll go... Yes, $2.30. So we are going to go... Plus, what's that? Six, seven oh five. Is that seven oh five? Yeah, it's seven dollars and five cents. So it's plus seven point oh five for our three copies of Goes and Match. I just accidentally full screen that. Let's un full screen that. So this is how our list is looking so far, or very tiny. Uh, let's blow that up. So that's how our list is looking at the moment. Pretty stock standard for. Krug and control. Now let's get some Butuniful Princesses. Oh, we got Butuniful Princess. Du -du 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 -du. Wait, why do we? That was a mistake. Because it just only adds the Butuniful Princess, so we can't go over. Because it only has one print. The card probably should have gotten a reprint. In Brothers of Legend, probably, or in an OTS pack. Now I can't find it. Surely we've gone past Beautiful Princess because it's not that cheap. It's a relatively expensive card that makes our entire deck function. Uh, and there it is. You know, five dollars twelve, pretty pricey for our list. So we're going to go plus. Uh, that's fifteen thirty six. We're up to forty one dollars already. But I'm fairly sure the rest of this engine is relatively cheap. Now, three Butuniful Princess. So we play one copy of One for One. Um, just so we can get access to the Butuniful Princess. Um, possibly. We need to get some Silent Anglers in here, though. Which I'm fairly sure has a common reprint now. Otherwise, this would have been a ver another very expensive card for our deck. Yeah, Silent Angler, 21 cents. Absolute bargain. It's got two reprints. From when it desperately needed one, it's now been like, bang, bang. Easy as. That's our 63 cents adding on. We don't want to buy Dragon Ball Super cards. No, thank you very much. Ooh. Okay. Silent Angler. Let's get three of those cranking. Let's go for a one for one. That's One for one's got to be... Oh, it's really... It's a lot of Exodia pieces. Uh, cheapest one for one, dollar sixty-four. That's a lot more expensive than I thought a one for one was going to be. Plus one point six four equals. There we go. One for one. Now we can get in our flex stuff in our Bahamut Shark and our totally awesome Bahamut Shark. Oh, yeah, I always forget the Bahamut Shark is like low key expensive. Point one nine. Should have picked up a secret rare. I should probably pick up a secret rare for myself at one point. 
I haven't even also considered how expensive Totally Awesome could be, because that could blow out a budget for the deck. Totally awesome. Here we go. $5.93. What's 5.93? We're starting to get a little expensive again. Totally awesome. One of those. Do we go for something cheap and dumb like a Mii Starboy? Mii Starboy. Surely we can we can cheese one of these in here. 40 cents. This point. Board here. Easy as. Mii Starboy. Okay, what else are we missing from this list? There's definitely generic water extenders that we're missing. Like, uh... Oh. Crap, what am I missing? There's so I know I'm definitely missing like a whole bunch of shit because this deck completely functions without the new support. But what was it? Level four waters that are just free extension pieces. I might have to go over Fuck, what's gonna just sort of go here? I'll be back. Okay, we're back. It was Buzzsaw Shark was the card I was forgetting. So it's Buzzsaw. Is it two words? No, it's one word. Buzzsaw Shark. Easy as 12 cents. Absolute bargain. Let's bring up the calculator again. There we are. We go for plus 0.36. Buzzsaw Shark. Well, that's not how you spell any of that. Okay. Three of that in. Okay, should we just pack it with hand traps now? Let's look at a couple of hand traps. We can try and uh, make things work. In all of these dollar deck builds, we put a Vec Veiler in. This is the first format where Effect Veiler has been quite good. Uh, as we now go plus, what's that? $7.50 plus another 14 cents times three. So it's 28. 42. 42 plus 750. So that's 792. 7.92. That puts our three effect veilers in. We might not be able to afford a side deck. Um, so we've got three of that. Uh, Lancia. Lancia decent right now. As Lancia is going to cost us 86 cents. Each. I should probably preface that. Uh, so 86 cents each. That will go plus... Or oh, we strike a massive blank. What's that? A dollar dollar sixty, two forty, plus sixteen cents, two fifty six, two point five six, easy as that's been put in. Well that's that side of main, but forbidden chalice, another good card in the current format. So many of these budget options have circled back in and now we seem like the intelligent one in the room. So we've got three Forbidden Chalice. I'll bring over the deck list in a second and we'll have a look at it. As that's going to cost us, what, $3.90 plus that's, that's $4.02? Four, four plus $4.02. Did that work? I have no idea if that worked. If we've gone over budget, uh, let me know because I'm not sure if that calculation went through properly. Um. Okay. What what next? What next? Uh, Monster Reborn? Sure. Let's go for just that small pot bit of free extension. Uh, what is the cheapest Monster Reborn we can get? Oh boy, Monster Reborn's getting cheap nowadays. So we could go for this uh, Parallel Rare, which is no market price available. That means it's free, doesn't it? We'll add that to the list. Now nah, we'll go uh, 48 cents. So one Monster Reborn. 48 cents, please. Would not just be worth playing more White Mirror. Um, White Mirror is just Monster Reborn. Given the deck we're playing, it is just Monster Reborn. Would it not just be better? Ah, maybe. Maybe we just play both. That could actually very much be a viable thing here. Go point four eight. Wonderful. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's just the way we go. So, White Mirror just effectively guarantees that we're summoning Stealth Krog in every turn, which is what we need. 
Um, again, that's one print. Let's get back here. Was it on page two or page three? It was on page three. Okay, 21 cents. That's another, what, 42 cents. 0.42. Easy as. Monster white mirror. No, we want just a white mirror. One, two. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so this is how the list is looking at the moment. So we blow that up. Looking pretty decent. Must I say so myself? Yeah, the Lancia is probably the only weak spot we have currently in the main deck. Um, let's actually, what got reprinted in gold that we can take advantage of? Um, because I swear Ghost Bell got its alt art. Is it cheap? It's not. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wonderful. Uh, because it was... I didn't get its reprint. Okay, that's annoying. What's Imperm sitting out of the structure deck? Surely that's above $10 already. Imperm... Yeah, we're already sitting at close to 10 bucks for a structure deck card. Let's go and have a look at that gold set though, see if there's anything cute that's been reprinted in it. El Dorado. I, I love this, the JoJo's print of, uh, of Eldritch, I really really want it. I just don't want to spend money even I already have the Golden Lords. I, can, I wonder if someone will pay the same amount. Uh, Ghost Warner, Loki, not terrible card in the current format. Um, Actually it's somewhat decent against Sword Soul, I'm fairly sure. Then we've got... what? No kind of broken reprints there. There's Regeki. We could play Regeki to try and clear the opponent's board. At a dollar forty, that's actually not a terrible shout. Same with these Book of Moons for the side deck. Uh, let's actually put those into the side deck. Start working on that. Uh, so we're gonna go for the Book of Moons at plus three dollars oh six. Wait, there's probably cheaper Book of Moons than that. There's got to be cheaper Book of Moons than a dollar. Uh, have a have a Regeki. I don't think there's. I don't think there's going to be a cheaper Regeki. Uh, there is. Yeah, there's a Spirit Charms Regeki. Um, let's go equals minus the $3.06 we're about to spend. Let's go plus 1.31. Pop that Regeki in the side deck. Always put in board removals. We need board removals at the moment. Uh, probably a Duster. That Duster will probably actually go into main deck. Uh, Harvey's Feather Duster. Four dollars. It's, it's worth it. So let's go plus four point three six. Whack in a Duster. Duster will round out that odd number. So now we can fit another three over in the main. Uh, let's check the Book of Moon. Book of Moons. Cheapest Book of Moon on market. Uh, yeah, good thing we checked it because it's a dollar seventy nine. I know, just sorry, just seventy nine. So that'd be what two forty minus three cents. So that's two thirty seven. Okay, three book of moon into the side deck. Okay, we need to probably finish off this extra deck. Uh, this extra deck could get pricey depending on how we're going to build it. Um, what are we thinking? Good water monsters. Like, we've already got the Toads. Probably realistically, the only other thing we'd want to put in is, like, Zeus and stuff. But we can't afford Zeus. Is Dweller? Yeah, there's Dweller. Because it's a rank 4 deck. So Dweller's going to go in here. Um, duh, 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 duh. Dweller, Dweller, Dweller. What? 82 cents. Bargain. Absolute bargain on that Abyss Dweller. Plus 0.82. What have we got to fill? Like, I'd love to put a Zeus as well as, uh, what's the other card? Uh, the Utopic Future. Like, if you're building this without a budget, that would definitely be cards that you'd include in your list. Um, what else can we think of? Any, so we need to fill out three more cards in the main deck. <sighs> We're playing rank fours. I'm fairly sure double or nothing is still expensive. Let's have a look. Double or nothing is... Oh, got it reprinted. Um, okay. Oh, no. It was always the easy card. It was Utopia Double. Utopia Double. 
That's 13 bucks. Okay. That would push us up into... That's actually not that unaffordable right now. To push us up... Uh, maybe not. Like, it would be a game ender, though. And given, like, every card in our deck just says win. Okay. Let's... So is it left hand shark? We can do the cute thing. Okay, hear me out here. There is one play that we could do. And it is very cute. It is this. It's Crooked Cook. Uh, so Crooked Cook with the left and right hand shark combo is just an eternal lock on your opponent where you can deck them out. So I think we have to definitely play three copies of Crooked Cook in the in the extra. Just to give us access to that lock. If we want to do it. Like, you, it's if you control no other cards, it can't be destroyed by a card effect. And then Left Hand Shark makes it so it can't be destroyed by... No, it can't be destroyed by battle. And then uh, Left Hand Shark makes it so it can't be destroyed by card effect. Or it just becomes unaffected altogether. Look, it's absurd from, what, from memory. Uh, yeah, it is unaffected by other cards, and it can't be destroyed by battle. And then you soft lock your opponent, and it's really cute. Uh, so yeah... For 37 cents, we're putting in three of this. Uh, we're going to play the lock. So there's plus... Oh, that's going to be over a dollar for those crooked cooks. But how far over a dollar? So that's 90 cents plus another 21. So that'd be a uh, dollar 11. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get in our crooked cooks. Three copies of crooked cook for the soft lock. Uh, do I need to play a draw spell on this deck? Like, I'm playing a lot of three orbs. I could bump up my left hand shark to three and play desires, but that would, no, that would actually eliminate the point of playing bottom desires because we are very close to playing, uh, to getting out to our 40 cards. Like, you could probably look at something like a prosperity if you were, again, building this deck not on a budget. We're definitely going to do a deck profile at some point of this deck because I really, really like Stealth Kragen. So you're definitely going to see it floating around in the channel. Do we play. I've got the back row removal in the main deck in the Duster. Do we need more hand traps? I think that's the answer, is we just pull the remainder of the deck with hand traps, unless we play Desires. But we don't want to Desires away our left hand shark, because we want to be able to use it for the soft lock. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think that's the way we have to go. Do we play Ogre? Oh, Kaijus, 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 Kaijus. Um, Kaiju. We need some Kaijus. We need more board breaking cards here. Ah, uh, Dark Hole might also be worth a shot. That's a. When did they reprint all these Jizakuras? They've just chucked it in every structure deck this year. Jeez, okay. Sure, whatever you want. Uh, all of a sudden, a Kaiju engine is not a bad shot for this deck. Um. So we go the Gamma Seal. We put Gamma Seals in the... We go first deck. We don't really want to put Gamma Seals in the main. We'll pop Gamma Seal on the side. We'll just go a full package. So we'll go Gamma Seal at $2. Because I'm fairly sure those Kaiju Slumbers were also not that expensive. So we go plus uh, 2.07 for the Gamma Seal. Plus 2.04 for the Gadala. Because we need to out that Wind Barrier statue. Um, so let's go... Gadala. Perfect. Uh, then we want to play, what, two Jizakiras? At 29 cents? So that's now plus 0.58. Two copies of Jizakiru. Then we put in our three copies of Slumber. That'll be 88 cents, so we get plus, uh, what's that times three, 160, 240, plus another 24 cents, so that's $2.64. Okay, let's put in our three copies of Slumber. Okay, how expensive is Ghost Ogre at the moment? Because Ghost Ogre is decent. That could be the last card for our main deck. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. 
please don't be expensive. $2.85, yes, you're gone in the deck. So that is another, what, $6 plus another $2.40, so that's $8.40 plus 15 cents, eight fifty-five. so that's plus 8.55 equals perfect. Ghost Ogar, into the main deck you go. Um, Is there another, like, subpar decent hand trap that is cheap at the moment? Um, Crow? Because we just got the official ruling change worldwide now, so Crow does negate Pen 10. I should have just searched DD Crow. Because we're going to get all of these, like, shitty Crow cards. Uh, or could we just play 3 Whiptail Crow? That could work. 3 Whiptail Crow is good. Is the f Did we stop hitting DD Crows on the first page? Is Turbo Pack Common the cheapest DD Crow? Surely not. It is. Turbo Pack 3 Common is the cheapest DD Crow at $1.72. Um, that puts us up to, what, $4.50 plus another $0.66. Cents. It's $4.50. That's $5.16 plus 5.16. Okay, we have $3 left for this deck build. So D dot D dot Crow. We need one side deck card. And two extra deck cards with $3 as our budget. This is how the list is currently looking. Uh, not a bad list at all. Uh, not a bad list at all, except for the, the lancies in the main deck. It probably isn't the best thing to go with. Okay, we need one blowout card in the side deck. Hmm. Is it red... No, is it... I don't know if red reboot's the, the right shout. Um... Probably something like a compulsory. I always go for compulsory in these challenges. Um, we'll figure out these last two extra deck cards because those are somewhat important. Um, what can we probably look at? Like, I don't think there's that much that I want in this extra deck given that like the stuff that I want is too expensive. Could there possibly be a reason for me to play anything else? Um, I don't think there is. I don't think there is at all. Do we just put two more Miss Starboys in? Because we just don't have the budget to play the cards we want. Uh, yeah, sure. Two more Miss Starboys. Give us the give us the attack pumps. Um, how much did Miss Starboy cost? Let's work that one out. Miss Starboy. Okay, plus 0 0.80. Okay, what just happened there? Did I just like, I just lost something. I think I've just lost audio in my, head, in my headset. Oh well. Uh, hopefully we still have audio for the microphone. Um. Okay, where are we? Last card, last card, one side deck card. Is it a solemn? For going first, the one Solemn. But which Solemn is it? Which is the cheapest? Is it Judgment? Is it Warning? Is it Strike? And do we just end up putting in three of the other, so two, the other two Solemns anyway? Oh boy. Uh, judgment's expensive. Uh, looks like it's going to be one copy of Warning at 43 cents. Or do I just put in the... Uh, what do I cut if I want to put in the other warnings? Oh, fuck it. We'll just put in the one warning. One copy of Solemn Warning in the side deck. You go. Uh, you have cost me point four eight, And we are done. The list is complete. Uh, it has cost us $98.37 uh, to factor in postage. Because, uh, you know, we don't in the challenge. So this is the full deck list. Uh, effectively, it's Krug and Control. You're trying to Krug and goes and match uh, and lock your opponent out of being able to play. You swarm with the Stealth, Krug and Spawns. Uh, stealth, Krug and Spawns, you typically try and then use to control the, your opponent. But we don't have those full control cards available to us on the budget. But hey, we've made it work. We've made it work. So it'll take us through the list. So we've got the three copies of Lancia with the three Butunerful Princesses, three Buzzsaw Shark, three Effect Veiler, three Ghost Ogre, one left hand, three right hand. Three Silent Angler, three Silent Sea Nettle, three Chalice, one Duster, one Reborn, one One for One, 
three pre-res, three white mirror, three Gozen, round out the main deck. Uh, extra, one Abyss Dweller, one Bahamut, three Stealth Kragen, three copies of Crooked Cook to lock our opponent. Uh, three copies of Stealth Krog at spawn with the one totally awesome with the summoning off the Bahamut, and three Miss Starboy back him up to try and push us over some stuff that we can't get over. Uh, then for our side, three DD Crow, a whole Kaiju package in the Gadala, Gamma Seal, two Jizakuru, and three Slumber, a uh, three Book of Moon after that with the one Regeki, and one Solemn Judgment for when we go first. We want to side out, I don't know, something. Uh, Lancia? I don't know. But yeah. That's our list. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this week's deck build, or this month's deck build. Uh, yeah, quite. Uh, oh, do, do check out the uh, the Stealth Kragen profile that's going to be coming. We'll do a, a much more in-depth, better Stealth Kragen list when we do that. But as always, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for the 5,000 subs. It's been a great year. Thanks to everyone who is uh, here on the channel. And as always, I've been Ben from Roland TCG, and have a good afternoon, everybody.